Justice, the Blind Goddess, whose cause is faithfully served by that age-old institution, a British jury. Those 12 good men and true. Here now is the story of 11 such good men and Citizen James. <laughs> Hey, look, Sid. There's the prisoner. I know, I can see him. A homicidal maniac, if ever I saw one. <laughs> homicidal maniac? How do you know this is a murder trial? Well, it must be. They wouldn't have me on a jury for anything less. <laughs> I don't know, he looks rather a nice bloke to me. He's got Crippen written all over him. <laughs> look at him. He's guilty, all right. <laughs> Pass it on. We all vote guilty. <laughs> Hey, Sid says we all vote guilty. Sid says, hello. <laughs> oh, do you come here often? No. Oh, Charlie, you're a gentleman of the jury. Pretend to be one. Silence in court. Pray stand for Lord Justice Clarence. He's very polite, isn't he? <laughs> you see that bit of etiquette there? He curtsied. See that? The case of Regina versus Higginbotham, who stands charged with contravening the Road Safety and Traffic Act 1934, Section A, of being drunk whilst in charge of a motor vehicle. How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Drunk in church? <laughs> So much for cripping. <laughs> oh, this is an insult, mate. I'm not stopping here listening to this rubbish. Is, uh, is something bothering the jury? Well, quite frankly, I'm a little disappointed. I was expecting something better than a drunk in charge case. Really? Well, next time you're called, we'll try and find something a little more interesting. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Drunk in church. You are Thomas. He's Thomas innocent. Bottom, I'd like to remind you that I'm the foreman of this jury and we are here to decide whether he's innocent or not. Well, he is innocent, I can tell you that right now. A few moments ago, you were convinced he was another cripple. I'm still convinced. That's why he couldn't be a drunken driver. It's two completely different type of characters. Nonsense. How? How? Can you tell me if Crippen was ever pinched for drunken driving? Final thing, court. To the effect that in his opinion, after test, he also considered the children drunk. Now, do you deny on oath that you were I'm sorry, sir. No smoking in court. But I'm dying for that. I'm afraid you'll have to wait, sir. Well, all right, I'll give him ten minutes and I'm going to get up and walk out, mate. Uh, not on the floor, sir. Uh, uh, I'll take it, sir. <laughs> no smoking, no talking. It's like being back in school. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, when they ask you where to try the case, they meant try him, not her. <laughs> well, she doesn't understand what's going on. Another ten minutes with you, mate, she soon will. I don't think, God. Oh, Mr. Gilbert, will you proceed, please, for the defence? Um, yes. Um, thank you, my lord. Now, um, Mr. Higginbot... Here. Um, Higginbottom. <laughs> You've had no, um, previous trouble in all your, um, uh, 20 years of driving. No. Objection? No. Yes. yes, the objection is sustained. Uh, the jury will ignore the question. How can we ignore it? <laughs> Yes, I appreciate your difficulty, but the law says that an irrelevant question will be ignored and not accepted as evidence. You must therefore forget that the question was ever asked and not let it influence any decision that you may make. But how can we forget it? I heard him ask it. <laughs> hey, you heard him ask it. What? The question. I forgot it. <laughs> oh, he's got a mind like a sieve. You can't expect us to forget it. Mr... James. Mr. James. I have been associated with the law for the last 30 years, and for the last 10 I've been a judge, so I am beginning to get the hang of it. 
you will kindly forget that the question was ever asked. And I want no further interruptions. Just forget I interrupted then. <laughs> Are you asking me to forget that you interrupted in a court of law? Well, I forget your difficulty, but the law says that you must forget the question and not allow it to influence any decision. And if we can do it, mate, so can you. <laughs> Sit down. Proceed, Mr. Gilby. Um, yes. Well, um, now, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I, uh, well, well, that is, my client and I, no, um, <laughs> well, he's, he's obviously guilty. No, I, I mean, innocent. And if he is innocent, then you must look... Oh, God, please, lie! <laughs> this is the sort of man you would expect to be an habitual drunk. Dear, no, dear, oh, dear, oh, <laughs> shut up! Oh, I beg your pardon. I... <laughs> Not you. No, now, so now look what you've done. He's doing it all wrong. Uh, Mr. James, I noticed nothing wrong with his procedure. Uh, as I said just now, I've only been associated with the law for the last 32 years, so probably I know nothing about it. Well, look at the way he's doing. mumbling about there. He ought to be out here, leaping about. Bashing it out. Have you ever seen Perry Mason? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's... Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this man's whole career is in your hands. Are you going to let British justice go, eh, Wire? I have demand, here and now. <laughs> I am telling you right here and now that this man's whole career is in your hands and you shouldn't... <laughs> Have you uh, uh, finished? Well, look, you've got to admit it, Your Majesty. It's very depressing. <laughs> then I came here expecting a murder case. Yes, well, there may be one at any moment. <laughs> now, sit down. If I have another sound out of you, I shall hold you in contempt. I don't think much of you either. <laughs> See, will you shut up? You'll get me hung. He's talking to me. I know, that's why I shall be hung. Sit down. <laughs> Excuse me, Your Worship, but uh, will you forgive my friend? He gets a bit carried away. He's trying to clarify his mind. Yes, well, I'll clarify his mind in a minute. <laughs> Is he asking me outside for a punch up? <laughs> no, he means he's going he's to sum up the case. Now, will you shut up and be quiet? <coughs> May we proceed now? Yeah, well, I'll be up. Do me a favour. Continue, Mr. Gilbert. Ladies and gentlemen, the joy! <laughs> I appeal to you to ignore the long arm that, that, that is walking towards this man. He's and over there. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Walking towards this man and uh, pushing him off the scales onto the... Uh, it's not you, is it? <laughs> no, it's not really, no. Go back, do it your old way, go on. Yes, I think you're probably right, really, yes. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Gilbert? Well? Oh, um, well, yes, well, um, my lord, the, uh, the, the defence rests. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, pleasure's mine, my lord. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, uh, before you retire to consider your verdict, it is my duty to make quite sure that you understand the case and your own duties. Of course, I am fully aware that we have one person present who doesn't quite understand, <coughs> but my remarks will be made to you all. Now, the question is, was the prisoner in charge of the car when it struck the lamp post? And if he was, was he under the influence of drink? If you decide that he was not in charge of the car, then, of course, the question of uh, whether he was drunk or not does not arise. On the other hand, if uh, you decide that he was in charge of the car, well, then, of course, it's up to you to decide whether or not uh, he was. Drunk. Now, uh, drunkenness does not necessarily mean that a man is in front of his men. But I would like to uh, mm. I'm dying for that, mate. Well, 
I hope you're well satisfied with your performance in there. I reckon I did better than you. No, I didn't do badly myself. Her name's Millicent. I'm meeting her after the case. Not a thought for that poor bloke out there. He doesn't stand a chance. He's all cut and dried. That's fine, Justice said it. Well, let's settle down, everybody. Let's get this over with that we can all go home. Yeah, 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 yeah good, good, idea, good, idea. good idea. I can't think why he chose to have a trial by jury. He's obviously guilty. Oh, yes. 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 Well, well, let's start by taking a vote. Yes. Yeah, yes. the quicker the better. My old man's yeah. waiting for his dinner. If he's not ready when he gets home, he'll murder me. Can we rely on it? <laughs> Might stir up a bit of interest among this bunch of zombies here. No, oh, Sid, don't start an argument. I've got a date tonight. Yes, so have I. There's boxing on the telly tonight. <laughs> Dates, boxing, dinner. You've all seen that film, haven't you? What film? The Twelve Angry Men. <laughs> they all voted guilty because they wanted to go home. Well, just remember, this is a proper jury and we've got to vote fair and square. Mr. James, do you mind if we get on? Go on, then. Right. Then, hands up all those who say guilty. Well, seems to be unanimous. Anyone say not guilty? Oh. oh, Sid, I thought you said this wasn't the Twelve Angry Men. It isn't. It's just one angry man. Well, what are you angry about? I know the scene of the crime, mate, and I know very well when you come out of that pub there, there are at least ten things you've got to eat before you get anywhere near that lamppost. Well, what about the doctor's report? He didn't pass a single test. You can't convict a bloke on a doctor's report. Walk along that white line. What white line? That is exactly what the accused said, and he got pinched. <laughs> Mr. James, <coughs> what about the sums? All right, then. What, two plus four plus six divided by nine multiplied by eight? <laughs> oh, Sid, how could this mob know that? There you are, then. They're all drunk. <laughs> well, I suppose we shall have to discuss it. Has, any has anyone got anything to say? Yes, I have. Oh, now, let us assume that we're all driving this car. What? what? All at once? You're in good company tonight, mate. Good luck. <laughs> we assume that we're drunk. We haven't really got a... You tell her. I am telling you it's physically impossible for that bloke to have hit that lamppost. Now that you come out of the pub, you've got the car facing that way. Right, you shove it in gear. The lamppost is still on the yard. Members of the jury, have you reached your verdict? We have, my lord. How do you find the prisoner? Guilty or not guilty? <clears throat> Doubtful. <laughs> you cannot bring in a verdict of doubtful. I told you we couldn't. <laughs> Why not? It's supposed to be British justice, isn't it? He could have hit that lamppost when he was drunk. On the other hand, he could have hit that lamppost because he had a heart attack. I don't propose to argue the case now. I shall rise and adjourn until tomorrow morning. In the meantime, you will not discuss the case with any other person. The case stands adjourned until tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Come on, we're going down to the pub and reconstruct the crime. I'm sorry, Sid, I've got to put Millicent right on a few points of law. Do yourself a favour. Ask him first about the laws on personal liberties, because he's liable to take a few. <laughs> oh, Sid, that's not fair. She's practically a stranger. You're not supposed to discuss this case with strangers. Yeah, well, I'll get to know her a bit first. You want some quick promotion? Follow them. <laughs> now then, he must have come out of that pub, got into the car, and then he drove off. I still don't see how he could have hit that lamppost. It's impossible. Well, this, of course, the lamppost galloped up and hit the car. <laughs> <laughs> Come again. I said, unless the lamppost galloped up and hit the just car. Just a minute, just a minute. You've been in there? No, I'm on a case. What case? I'm on a jury. Yes, jukebox jury, no doubt. <laughs> very comical. Can I get on with it? It's a very serious case. All right, then, all right, then. Just watch it. Thank you. That's all. Just watch it. I said he was drunk. So he must have acted something like this. Sweet as wine. Oh, as wine. Oh, as wine. 
Oh, uh, gotcha. Drunk in charge. All right, out. Come on, out. Come on, get out this side. Out. And check it. Come on, this side. Out. What are out. you talking about? Yes, you? yes. You've just had one that's pushed you over the top, haven't you? I'll have your name and address, please. Thank you very much. I'm not drunk. I'm just pretending to be drunk. Pretending to be drunk? Ah, army. Oh, mean, that's the best one I've heard yet. It's me birthday off, sir. I've only had two glasses of wine. I had to have a few with the boss. Blimey, pretend to be drunk, that is a new one, I'll give you that much. How could I possibly get drunk in a matter of a few seconds? That is a tip I shall ask you when you eventually get out. <laughs> now, your name and address, please. I am not drunk, I'm telling you. Test me, go on, ask me to walk along the white line. Get out the breathing bag. Ask me something. What? Well, a tongue twister. A tongue twister? Yes, you know, six steel room twin screw cruisers. All right, go on. You say six times, six steel screamed, twill bill boozers. Six steel rimmed. Six steel scream. <laughs> twin screw cruisers. Cream twill screws. No, no, no. <laughs> six steel rimmed twin screw cruisers. All right, all right, wait for it. Six steel screamed twin... No, no, cruisers. no. All right. <laughs> Tell you what. I'll write it down. Six twin screw... No, twin. no. Look, never mind about it. Here, what's six plus seven plus eight divided by four? Well, how should I know? There you are. You must be drunk. Yes, what do you mean? You're the one who's drunk. <laughs> I am not drunk, I'm telling you. Don't you understand? I'm trying to find out, because I'm on a jury, whether that bloke could have hit that lamppost or not. Well, of course he could if he was drunk. You coppers are all... Ah! Uh, don't you start getting abusive. Well, blimey. Yes, watch it then. Watch it. Now then. Six twins. <laughs> <laughs> Doc Green dope. <laughs> I don't know, he must have been drunk, they say. Right. I still don't see how he could possibly hit that lamppost. Only one way to prove it. Get drunk. <laughs> Just a minute. I want to discuss it first. Oh, oh no. what a game. My old man's supper was ruined last night. I had to give him corned beef. He liked something warm. Well, you could have warmed up the corned beef. It's lovely. All those little bits melt, you know. <laughs> well, if it's any help to anybody, I've been thinking over what Mr. James said yesterday, and I really do agree there is no evidence. Oh, what did I tell you? Right. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Millicent and me, we thought it over for a bit. And Sid is right, absolutely right. The man is innocent. Now you're beginning to think like a real jury. Yeah. Quick then, let's have a vote. We all seem agreed. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, well, I'm very glad to see my point of view. Yes. You must realise that you've got to take time with justice. Right then. All those who say not guilty, 
Raise their hands. Good. We seem to be unanimous. Uh, just for the record, anybody say guilty? Oh, no. No. What's the matter with you? You have just talked us all into saying not guilty. I didn't talk you into it. You just agreed, told me that you agreed with medicine last night. Mind you, how you find the time for it, I'll never know. Well, we did. Well, I appreciate your judgment. It just so happens that I still think he's guilty. What made you change your mind? Well, I tested it in my car last night, and it is possible to hit that lamppost. All right, all right, he's guilty. That's what we said in the first yes, place. Yes, all those who say guilty raise their hands. Ah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh. You can't just say guilty because I say guilty. Oh, well, you've got minds of your own, haven't you? Well, we did have when we first came in here. Well, use them then. Mr. James. What are you going to vote this time? <laughs> guilty or not guilty? I shall make my independent decision when the time comes to vote. And I hope that you lot will do the same. Oh, right, everybody. Forget everything that's been said and use your own judgment. <laughs> Is that clear? Right. Right. Raise your hands. Those who say not guilty. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> Guilty! You animals to the court! Right, Charlie. See that? When the people make up their minds, mate, you can't sway them. <laughs> it's only due to public spirited people like me that British justice has a wonderful name it has today. Come on. It's absolutely impossible. Yeah, drunk in charge. The last time I served, we only took that on a murder case. Yes, well, there's always one on every jury. Mm. Who is this Nick James, anyway? Oh, these communists, they're everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Charlie, let's go and have a drink. Yeah. Uh, just a minute, gentlemen. What's up? Uh, one of the jurymen on the next case has been taken ill, sir. I wonder if you'd mind standing in. <laughs> what, me? Certainly. What are you talking about him? I'm the bloke you want, mate. I just got you that little verdict in there. I conducted oh. that jury like Sir John Barber Raleigh. I'm afraid you can't sit on the jury, sir. Why not? because you will be in the dock. You're summoned, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk in charge? Don't I appreciate anything? I only do that in the interest of the law. And the law was very interested, sir. <laughs> Come on. Here, Charlie, you be on a jury. Get me off. I'm very sorry, sir. I'm afraid I won't be able to serve on that jury now. What are you talking about? Correct me if I'm wrong, officer. I believe I cannot serve on a jury if I am personally known to the defendant. If you are personally known to the defendant, sir, no. That's it. I never saw him before in my life. <laughs> Bad luck, Sid. Where you are going, you're going to need this. Oh, Charlie, come back. I'll take that if you don't mind, sir. Charlie, come back here. You're my best friend. I mean, I never saw him before in my life. <laughs> never as long as I ever lived. And that, sir. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Charlie. 